an A. You've got Q's, we got A's. A. 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 Anybody, at, uh, anybody here come from Drew's shadow yeah. concert? Yeah. 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 I was really nervous and now I feel very light headed, but it's nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's how you know you did it right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, here we are. Uh, you know, any questions about the season? This is why we have this. We have an audience mic over here, so feel free to come down. Or if you uh, need it brought to you, you, just raise your hand, and we'll make sure that you get in the uh, the queue, so to speak. So let's so lean lean in uh, to the microphone, kind of close, and just let us know what you need. So my family has been doing this since 2017. I'd say it's an important part of my son's growth. He asked us to misgender him in Florida to feel safer. He also asked that he not have to come back to Florida again. The question is, do you have a time frame on when there will be an event we can attend again? Well, first of all, It's a monstrous thing, and we we are at the moment stuck in it. 
Yeah. You know, our our event, we got to the point. It's it's a blessing and a terrible curse in this particular case that this event is very geared towards and operates very well on ships uh, like this specific ship, especially and its sister class ships, as far as the size of the venues and the types of venues available to us. And they, you know, they don't deploy in too many places, and unfortunately, not yet in on the west coast, or at least when we need them. And just as an example, if we were to go to the next size ship, which is what usually sails out of uh, San Diego these days, it would we would basically have to reinvent this event because even though it holds more people, the main theater, for example, holds 200 fewer people and it's in the round. And the back deck isn't oddly enough as accommodating for a large stage. Uh, and the spaces available on board are in different orientations, not necessarily better or worse. Sometimes, you know, we've, we've analyzed them, we've sailed on these other ships uh, to check them out as possibilities. Uh, the short version is, it would take kind of a ground up reinvention of this event in order to just move to that class of ship, for example. And that's not to say we can't and won't do that if we believe that circumstances are such that, you know, Atlanta, Florida becomes completely untenable. Um, but it's also not, it, we can't just say, we'll just pick this up and put it down on this other ship that's available. Um, and, and, and you know, I, I don't, I imagine it's not very helpful for you to, to just hear the reasons why um, it's not just an easy thing that we can, we can do. And uh, please understand that we really do. Oh, no, I, yeah. I understand. There's what, there's what you have to do, and there's what I have to do for my family. Absolutely, of course. As, as much as this is also family. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, it's, I, it's absolutely it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely yeah. heartbreaking. Yeah. Really. It, it hurts us genuinely when we hear these stories from, you know, particularly the trans community within uh, our attendees. You know, uh, we, we hate to hear it. And, you know, we talk at length all the time about how can we mitigate this, how can we change it, what, what is possible and what is available to us, and even sort of, you know, are there ways that we can, you know, funnel the attendees to, through the safest possible path while they are in Florida for the extent they have to be in Florida for this event, if that's where we're stuck being for however long. And um, but just to reiterate what Drew brought up at the beginning is that we try to make the best world we can here and it's, it's sad that, that we can't, there's a limit to where we can extend it, and I'm very sorry. Yeah, but to make, it absolutely, to make it absolutely, absolutely clear, we clearly absolutely hear uh, and welcome that kind of feedback, uh, whether it's direct or we hear about it through the Facebook group or the Discord, and we understand, uh, and it, it affects us, and we're not just shrugging our shoulders and saying, well, sorry, but it's a business or whatever. It's, it, it is important to us the health and safety. It's one of the tenets of our opportunity. We wish we had a, a better, easier answer uh, other than that. That's just the one we can hear right now. But we continue to listen, we continue to learn, we continue to work towards trying to improve the event uh, in multiple ways. So thank you for your feedback. You know, when, it's, you know, when it's angry, we understand the anger, we know where it's coming from. And, and yeah, you know, I think I speak on behalf of myself and the rest of the attendees. Like, we love that we're here, and we, you know, yeah. As much as much as love as I can to as a person, I talk to your attend. And you know, with, yeah, this experience you're having and who you are and expressing it freely, it, that's like the coolest part of doing this is to give that space to people and that. That that's not going to be possible for you is as good as that. And we hope that there are ways that you can continue to participate in the community because um, I know that everybody feels this. And not to wrap it up glibly, but genuinely not the same as you can go find yourself hard. <laughs>